Now does Ozempic or Wegovy cause thyroid cancer? Now Ozempic is a diabetic drug used for type 2 diabetes and off-label treatment for weight loss while Wegovy is a higher dose of Ozempic or semaglutide which is the generic name and is actually licensed for weight loss in those with obesity i.e. if you've got a BMI higher than 30 and you have a weight related condition such as heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, obstructive sleep apnea then you should be eligible to be on Wegovy. Now these drugs belong to the class known as GLP-1 receptor agonists and have been found in experiments to cause thyroid tumours and medullary thyroid cancers in rodents such as mice and rats. What I've noticed is that there has been increased levels of calcitonin which has been secreted by these cells that cause the tumours such as the C-cells. I mean rather them than us, right? Now calcitonin is a hormone produced by the thyroid gland which helps to regulate the levels of calcium in your blood so it helps to reduce the levels of calcium and it's found that the higher levels of calcitonin in your blood the higher the chances of medullary thyroid cancer. Now one of the concerns is that could these GLP-1 drugs also cause thyroid cancers in humans? There are four types of thyroid cancers. You've got medullary, you've got follicular, you've got papillary and anaplastic. Medullary is a rare form of thyroid cancer compared to the others but this is the cancer that has been expressed in rodents exposed to the GLP-1. And what I have not mentioned is that other GLP-1 drugs apart from semaglutide include your liraglutide, exanatide and other types of GLP-1 drugs. These are drugs that are primarily used for type 2 diabetes as opposed to weight loss. There are studies that have shown that there has been no increase in calcitonin levels when humans have been exposed to these drugs, even at high doses and after long periods. It is thought that the biology of rodents and humans are so different in the way they respond to the GLP-1 receptors, so the risk of having thyroid tumours in humans is classified as low, however, there is still a risk. What they're saying is that the benefits outweigh the risk in terms of treating type 2 diabetes or obesity and thus you're reducing what you call cardiovascular complications in terms of what can obesity do or what can diabetes do which leads to increased risk of strokes, heart attacks, high blood pressure and other diseases. However, there was a small study in France looking at individuals taking GLP-1 drugs for type 2 diabetes and risk of thyroid cancer. So they looked at data from 2006 to 2018 and those who had thyroid cancers from medical records while adjusting for variables and they found that the use of GLP-1 receptor agonists for 1 to 3 years was associated with an increased risk of all thyroid cancers and medullary thyroid cancer. You have to be careful with these kind of studies as they're quite small, they're often biased with confounding factors and you need large number of cases for these to be statistically significant. However, Ozempic or Wegovy does come with black box warning. It is advised if you notice any lump or swelling in your neck, persistent hoarse voice, troubled breathing or swallowing, then speak to a doctor straight away. It is also advised not to use these drugs if there is a family history of thyroid cancer, especially medullary thyroid cancer. If you have a rare genetic condition called multiple endocrine nucleasa type 2, also known as MEN2, this is caused by gene mutation and people with this syndrome are at increased risk of medullary thyroid cancer. So does Ozempic or Wegovy cause thyroid cancer? This is not yet known. As I've said, several studies have shown that even with prolonged exposure to these drugs, not your semaglutide because that came about in 2017, but your other similar drugs such as your exanatide and liraglutide, which is also known as Saxenda, which is also used for weight loss. There has been no significant increased risk of cancer. However, some studies have shown that there is a significant increased risk of cancer. So the jury is still out there. What would be interesting would be to know what the data is once Wegovy is introduced into the market, which is a higher dose of semaglutide, but it would take at least six to eight years for us to get the data when we're looking retrospectively at people who've had thyroid cancer against people who took the drug and did not have thyroid cancer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel.